What's up guys? Welcome back to Nerve Style. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get yourself the Phoenix Fruit for absolutely free in Blocks Fruits right now. Yes guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys a way to get yourself the Phoenix Fruit for absolutely free. So uh, yeah guys, let's get on to this video. So to do this, all you guys gotta do is just first off, go ahead and go over to the Blocks Fruits. Dealer right there, as you guys can see. Click on him and click on continue just like this. And you guys gotta be in like the first C and like the power start area, guys. Anywhere else wouldn't work with this glitch. So yeah, this is a glitch, guys. Just saying, okay? So uh, yeah, all you guys gotta do is just click on that. Click on continue just like this. It should be somewhere over here. As you guys can see, Phoenix would right over here. All you guys gotta do is just click on view one and click on the Robux icon just like this. And after that, click on cancel, cancel, exit, just like that. Now, after you do that, all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to these boat dealers and basically get yourself a boat, guys. Like this, I'm just gonna get myself that. Now, after you do that, go ahead and go over to the marine recruiter and all you guys gotta do is click on him and basically join the marines. Like that, as you guys can see, now I'm in the marine side. Now, when you're in the marine side, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to the marine leader and basically get yourself a quest just like this now after you get that quest all you guys can do is just defeat like uh, five marines so basically complete the quest like this as you guys can see basically complete it and finally one more and we are done now after you do that all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to the quest giver again like the marine leader all you guys gotta do is just get yourself another quest like this now this time all you guys gotta do is just basically abandon this quest as you guys can see abandon it now click on track right over here now after you do that all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to the block fruit dealer right over here click on him click on continue go over to the phoenix fruit again click on the same thing that we did earlier so just like this as you guys can see now after you have done that what you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go into the marine boat dealers now get yourself uh, the same boat that you got yourself in the pirate start island so uh, yeah now after you do that what you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to this area of the map this place right over here as you guys can see so basically stay close to the wall like this and basically find the center of this uh, like uh, tower i don't know what to call this so you guys can do is basically find the center of this go straight like this as you guys can see basically go until you can't go anymore and i think i reached the limit yes okay yeah i think i reached the limit yeah now when you're at the limit all you guys can do is basically reset your character like this now after you do that all you guys can do is just wait until you respawn now you guys can do is just find at least two like uh, chests so basically get yourself two chests you guys can get more than two chests guys uh, but the minimum is two so uh, yeah now after you do that all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to here as you guys can see this like uh, cannons yeah basically all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to these cannons sit on one of them like stand on one of them not sit and basically reset your character again as you guys can see right there now after you have done that all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the sword dealer right over here and basically get yourself a katana like this click on purchase now all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to like the marine leader right here and basically get yourself another quest now basically use any sword or katana to defeat like the npcs and complete this mission again like that as you guys can see right there that now we are done now after you do that go ahead and go over to like the boat that you put like this go ahead and stand on it just like this like sit on it now go ahead and go over to like the pirate start area with this boat
Okay, I have no idea where the Pirate Star area is. I think it's somewhere over here. Ah, um... oh, found it. So, yeah, all you guys can do is go ahead and go to the Pirate Star area with your boat. Just like this. Now, all you guys gotta do is just basically land it near the boat dealer. And basically go ahead and go over to the boat dealers and change your boat to a different one. Like this, as you guys can see. Now all you guys get to do is basically talk to the same marine recruiter. Like this. Click on join. Like that. And basically you would spawn over here. Now all you guys get to do is just basically set your home point over here. Like that. Now go ahead and go over to one of these boat dealers and basically get yourself a boat. So uh, yeah, all right, like that as you guys can see. Now all you guys got to do is just basically go ahead and go over to here, right over here as you guys can see where this uh, like large patch of ground is. Now basically all you guys got to do is just do the same thing as before and reset your character. Just like that. Now after you do that, all you guys got to do is just basically go ahead and go over to that large patch of ground again. Grass, ground, ground, land, I don't know. So basically all you guys got to do is just go ahead and go over to this place again and basically reset your character again. Now you guys got to do just basically go ahead and go over to the pirate starter area and like interact with like the blocks for dealer so i'm just gonna give myself the slope oh wait no i have a better one i'm just gonna give myself a luxury boat so what you guys gotta do just basically go ahead and go over to the pirate starter area Alright, now when you're here, all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to the block through dealer. Like this. And basically interact with him and click on the Phoenix fruit like this. And basically do the same thing that we did earlier. Like that. Now after you do all those things, all you guys gotta do is just get yourself a quest from the bandit quest giver. Like this. Now basically all you guys gotta do is just complete that quest. So I'm just going to use my fruit to do this and I didn't do a good job at that. Okay, we are done with the quest. Now, after you do all those things, all you guys got to do is just basically wait until the blocks with dealer shop refreshes. Now, when it refreshes, all you guys got to do is just go ahead and go over to like that area, like the jungle area of the map. So, basically, you guys got to do just go ahead and go to the jungle area. So, let me just show you guys. Like this, go ahead and go over to the jungle area. Now when you're in the jungle area, all you guys get to is go ahead and go over to the Rock Food Dealer's cousin, like the fruit gacha, and basically get yourself a fruit guys. 
like this now after you get that fruit all you guys can do is just basically like go ahead and go over to like the blocks for dealer with this fruit and basically do the same thing that we did earlier to the phoenix fruit and you would basically get yourself a permanent phoenix fruit for absolutely free so yeah guys that is it from me i'll guess i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye